What's going on people? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. Welcome to your official preview for Chelsea versus Tottenham. First thing I want to say before we start this video, if you want to check out your best app for all the quickest football news, don't forget to check out the One Football app. We're going to leave a link down in the description below. Now, straight to this preview. Now I've got Sam Lavender here from We Are Tottenham TV. Sam, how you been? I'm good mate, how are you? Uh, not so good following <laughs> Monday, I can't even lie, but we move on. It's the next game, it's Chelsea v Tottenham. You ready for your yearly L at Stamford Bridge? Uh, it's sort of... Uh... I'm ready. I mean, I've got to focus on another game as well first before that, but I am ready. I never look forward to it. It's a good day out, but it normally ends with disappointment. Yeah. And what, like you, the you always bring up to me, one, once in 30 years. It's once in 30 years, and we just got to hope it's not don't acceptable, turn it to two. And hopefully on, on the weekend we can, we can make it two. We can double it. How confident are you? Because we both got injury problems going into this one. So, uh, yeah, so I was really confident. Obviously, Sunday, massive, massive win at Villa Park. Last kick of the game. Um, with that with Sonny winner and now Son's injured has broken his arm somehow I'm not so confident so it's a difficult one we've got Son out Kane out Sissoko out the list goes on no real striker well literally no striker so it's sort of um, it's going to be a weird one going there I still have a bit of confidence that we can dig in and, and sort of Jose shithouse a result but yeah. it, I'm not fit, I'm not that optimistic knowing that you despite the fact that you have injury problems you still have players in a, that can play in a position whereas we're struggling to find a striker who can play as a striker. Here's the thing I struggle to be optimistic as well and it's only because of two things. Number one the same thing you said those injury problems right now I don't even know if Tammy's playing. We don't I think Hudson Adoy's out. I think Pulisic is out. Emerson I think is out. Who else is out? Loftus Cheek is still out. We've both, we've both got a hella injury problems. Yeah. That could come back to bite both of us. But there's another thing is that home form. Stamford Bridge used to be a fortress, but this season has been a bit of a madness this season. We're throwing three points around to everyone. Now, I'm hoping this is the one game where we don't do that. Because I know Lampard, the one thing I understand about Lampard is his head's in the right place. And he understands mm -hmm. how much game, certain games mean. And he knows exactly what Chelsea v Tottenham means to the fans. He's not yeah. going to let the players let their heads drop. Uh, I, I agree with that, but then I look at it from a Jose point of view, and, and even though you did come and, and deservedly beat us in, in December, I think that Jose now has a point to prove going back to Stamford Bridge going as with, the injury, with the injury problems that we've got. Although he's not had the best of record going back there as, as a manager of an opposition team, I think they'll have a point to prove, and I think that he'll have a, he'll have a ta uh, he'll have tactics to go there and get a result, whether it's a point or a win. But I actually don't see us losing this game. It's a weird one. I don't see, I'm not necessarily saying we're going to go and win, but I don't see us actually losing the game. Okay. So I think that defensively, despite the fact we have still conceded goals, I think we're slowly, gradually improving. Everything is starting to slowly fall into place at Tottenham at the moment. I wanted to, I wanted to bring this one up as well because we sp I spoke to Sim, I think, for the last Tottenham preview and asked him about how the improvement with Jose. But now yeah. we've got a, lot, a bit further into the yeah. season. Now's the perfect time to ask, what's the improvements that Jose's brought to your team so far? He's brought he's brought the belief back. Firstly, under Poch, when we for the for the first three four months of the season that he was here, the belief when the players sort of stopped playing for him, they were sort of playing for him as a mate instead of a manager. Uh, he had a very close relationship with the players, and that sort of sort of didn't it didn't I don't know how to describe it. It sort of meant that they were just mates, like going to play with your mates instead of going to actually fight for each other. Well, they needed someone who's so a bit Jose's, more tough. Yeah, Jose's come in. Um, with the winning mentality, obviously everyone knows at Tottenham that the problem is the mentality half the time, that they get to a certain stage as far as they go and then they fall with the last hurdle, as we've seen, as I've seen countless amount of times as a Tottenham fan, as I'm sure you've enjoyed seeing mm -hmm. countless amount of times. That's the difference. So, for example, uh, despite a bit of luck involved, Sunday's game at Villa, we, the old Tottenham could have gone down 1-0 and then gone on to lose the game or at 2-2 could have just not scored the winner the Jose has, in, has installed this winning mentality and now we went on and got mass, a massive massive three points on Sunday and that wasn't the first time this season that's happened we play where we've not really been at our best but we've managed to dig out a result the players are starting to fight for each other they're starting to defend as a team they're starting to Sort of, you you know, as a Chelsea fan, the Jose shithouse tactics. I've seen it so many times. And I'm scared starting, shitless yeah, about it. I'm starting to to not only obviously I'm starting to accept it. I'm starting to actually enjoy it. That these last minute goals, these these last minute um, sort of limbs that we have, really, just because he sets he sets his team up very very well. One thing I'm going to say is you all hated Jose's football a couple of years ago. Now I'm going to just it. leave it at that. That might be that might be the case, but now I currently love it and. 
it's an interesting one, and I think it sets up for a really interesting game on the weekend. Um, it, it does. Uh, with these injury problems, I really struggle to see where this game goes because it could really go both ways. And I'm not going to lie, with Bayern Munich coming up as well, a loss to you guys, like Chelsea fans didn't, didn't take it nearly as well the first time we lost to you guys at home. The second time as well after losing to United, it's going to start to become panic stations. Yeah, like you said, you've got Bayern Munich as well, but we've also got Leipzig, who is not an easy game under any stretch of the imagination. Um, so we've got... It's, uh, what, I, what I want to say is actually the Premier League don't schedule the games correctly. Yes. We play Wednesday night and then have to play and then have six to two hours before we kick off against you on Saturday. Oh, Which shit. Is, I do not think is fair. What, well, I don't know what your opinion is on that. That isn't fair, but that's the first time something... I think that's the first time in a while something like that's happened and actually gone in our favour. So you know what? I'm going to take it for what it is. You, take, you can take it. And also with all the injury problems that we have, it's just a bit of a, an extra kick in the teeth that we didn't really need. Um, and it'll be an interesting one. I think there are some bright sparks despite the injury problems. Steven Bergwijn's looked really good since he signed. Looks like a really good player. He's got so much pace. Like, so much pace. And that um, pace will run him nicely into Reese James's pocket on Saturday. You know, yeah, I mean, I don't think it will. I think he's going to cause problems for you lot. I think his movement is strong. He's very, very strong for someone so small. He's very strong. Holds the ball up very well. Uh, can get in behind. Very good with the ball to feet. And obviously, as we saw against Manchester City, can find the back of the net from, from range. Um, I'm not going to chat too much shit about him and but Dele still the same way Reece James Dele Ali loves a goal against Chelsea just look at the face look at the face drop oh, just one name I'm sick of I'm actually so sick he, fe- he shows up when it matters especially against you lot so hopefully he shows up on Saturday but we'll see score predictions then I don't know I want to hear this I'm going to go 2-2 two, simply because I just don't think we've got the attacking threat to beat you without Harry Kane without Hummin Son Sonny obviously is a massive, massive miss, despite even when he plays back. Like Sunday, he was appalling, but still scored two goals. So he's a massive miss. He's, thir- he's a 30 goal a season man that we're missing. And obviously, Harry Kane just says it all when we're missing him. Um, I'd do anything to have Harry Kane back in this game. So I'm going to go 2 2 because I think both sides have their injury problems. Both sides aren't in the form of their lives. And both sides, I think right now, to be honest, with the schedule that we've all got and the games that are coming, obviously, I would take them. I want to win, and I think every and I think you want to win as well. Of course, you, you lot, if you yeah. lot beat us, you go above us in exactly, the table, exactly. don't you? So there's a lot on the line, but I think if you offered a actually, if we draw, favorite, Sheffield and I might go above both of us. Yeah, this is okay. You know what? I was about to say I might take a point, but no, I'm gonna. I, I think it will be a draw, but I would love three points. Um, I'm gonna go two two, maybe two two one three two to Spurs. Here's the thing. Part of me is leaning towards a draw. And I'm not sure whether it's going to be some dead nil-nil because we both lost most of our attackers or just oh, some see, shitty 4-3. I see goals. Four, I see goals. I, it could, one way or the other, it's be a I nil-nil or a 4-3 or something like that. Yeah, you, no, I, see, I think it would be more of the latter. I, I really see goals in this game. Just Here's the thing, we got to win this one as well. That's neither side, can neither side are exactly renowned for their defensive stability. No, no. and so, right now neither of our attacks are saying anything. So this could go both ways. I'm going to just go 1-0 Chelsea, I guess, because... Here's the thing, regardless of what happens, we usually beat you guys at home. Exactly. If we don't beat you guys at home, that's that a statement the, that of something shit happening. What do you think of Frank Lampard, though? What do I think of Lampard? I think some teething problems, but for what he, the tools he's had, he's done a very good job. And I don't, I don't think anyone should be Lampard out right now. I don't th- he didn't I think sign the majority, anyone in January. That's not his fault. He wanted signings. The guy came out and press conference and said, we need improvements, and we didn't give him improvements. You were Hakim Ziyech for the summer. Yeah, we've got Hakim Ziyech for the summer. We needed somebody now. That's like, there's holes in our squad, and we can well. see it. We started Stephen Bergvine, who obviously I'm very happy with. But we, I mean, now Son and Kane are injured. We haven't got a striker. Yeah, you lot, that's why you lot were trying to get Giroud from us. I would have taken Giroud. I think he would have done well for us as well. I want to see Giroud start. If Tammy Abraham isn't 100% fit, Giroud needs to be starting. I swear if I see that's that. Right, that's the thing. I think um, starting beaming. Giroud would sort of play into our hands really on Saturday if you do really? start him. I think a big man. I think Davidson Sanchez, and I think it would be Sanchez and Alderweireld and Tanganga as, as sort of the, 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 the defenders in the back four. We're already a bit pushed on. Um, and I think though playing a uh, big man in Giroud will just suit three big centre halves nicely. Yeah, but Giroud's more Giroud focused on his link up play and his strength. So he's not he's not going to be trying to beat defenders or anything it's, like that. He's not that. known for his movement. Whereas no. Batshuayi, despite the fact he can't he can't hit a barn door, I think his movement's really good. His movement's great. That's about it. 
Um, and I think Rest is always just having lacking. Sanchez pro problems. Whereas if he's up, if he's in a physical battle up against someone, I think that's where he thrives. Uh, the only thing I'd say is I think Drew would bring the better out of William and Pedro. Dan Batshuayi. The wins. fact that they are still your wingers is hilarious. They've been your wingers since like 1995. Man, we've wanted yeah, additions for ages. I can't. We've got the two where's, oldest two, wingers in Pulisic? the league, right? Injured. No, so what, what's wrong with him? Um, he's had. He's been out for like a month now. Yeah, he's been out for ages. He hasn't yeah. really. I mean, he scored the hat trick at yeah, Burnley. He's been out. Hudson Odoi's. Oh. Are, are we out of time? No, no, no just saying. Yeah, he's been out. Hudson Odoi is out, so we're literally stuck with the two oldest swingers in the league. But hey, fuck it, we move, guys. This is your official preview for Chelsea versus Tottenham. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out Sam Lavender and We Are Tottenham TV. Don't forget to check out his new series as well, Winners and Losers. It's not just about Tottenham as well, so <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's actually going to be European football. Yeah, all so across the Premier League in Europe. A bit more European royalty involved. Uh, so check guys, out the Combined Eleven as well on We Are Tottenham TV with Lewis here. On we, uh, and thank you for having me on, mate. Yeah, any time, bro. Hopefully see you after the game after you lot get smashed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're this close to 100k. The road to 100k is still going, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the OneFootball app. Check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. And we'll see you guys very, Come very soon. Up the Chelsea.